Hey there! Today I'm going to be revealing one of my latest bag purchases that I got off of the Real Real for my birthday, and it was influenced heavily by several folks here on the YouTube. And I'm not going to blame them completely for this purchase, but no, uh, yeah, I'm going to blame them a little bit. So stick around. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrances, your cup of coffee, skincare, jewelry, handbags, what have you, whatever makes you feel good about yourself because you deserve to treat yourself to something nice. And I decided to do that for my birthday. I bought myself a bag that I've been looking at for a little while now. Um, and I will be completely honest, I, I think I, I was aware of it, but I didn't, it, it wasn't like front of mind until I went to Chicago in October and I saw them in person there and they, ever, well, everything at the store was gorgeous, but I saw this particular handbag and then another one, another style, and I love both of them but this particular one just really struck a chord and several other folks here on youtube are very much in love with it and i've found out that it's been um kind of just a, a bag of of many's um collections out there that didn't know it was so popular and so many folks you know were collecting them and, and loving them so i've fallen down the rabbit hole of trying to find some more but added one to my collection we'll see how it goes maybe i'll get another one maybe i won't we'll see um but first of all let's uh Thank the <laughs> let's incriminate the folks who sent me down this rabbit hole. So uh, October, I went to a uh, meetup to meet Caleb Snell and a bunch of fine folks out there, and we went to the Ralph Lauren Cafe there for breakfast to start our day, and we hung out in that store for a good while, playing around with all of the lovely things in there, especially the purses, handbags, um, and. To Two particular styles caught my eye when I was there. It was the RL50 and the Ricky. They were just, I love top handle bags. I, I love leather bags. I, they both were just beautiful and I was just enamored with both of them. So just trying to, to think, you know, where is this, you know, is this something I want? And I discovered that unfortunately they are not cheap bags by any means they're very well made but they run you know in the at least 2500 up to oh god the exotics can be um tens of thousands so depending on what type of material you're looking for you know it's it's not it's not cheap it's not quite hermes level but it's a it's a it's a decent um took a change out there for for bags but i i still think a very lovely um quality for what's what's out there so um tried them out was really impressed really liked them kept looking at them on the website just was like you know but at that level you know, brand new you know you're, you're talking like a couple of them is you know a birkin and just like uh, you know is it going to be just like the michael kors hamilton that i bought 10 of and then at that point i'm like i could have had a birkin back then at that that price point you know at three four hundred dollars a pop it was like mm, that wasn't probably the wisest thing to do i should have just gotten a birkin you know back in 2000 so anyway i digress so here comes the the hot topic in our circles everyone's been hunting them down and i guess the the, the new the two new guilty parties that kind of set me over the edge i was like heck guilty it's not their fault really truly but because they kept talking about them and kept kept seeing it on lives or unboxings or just in conversation um jack's bag attack birkin boy um they you know have this aficionado just passion for um this bag and i 
bought myself a Ricky. <laughs> so I'll bring it back up in just a second. I ended up um, stocking several on eBay and I just, I'm still, I got burned on eBay with a fake um, several years ago and I just get really paranoid about everything on eBay. And while there were several on there that I really, really wanted, a purple one that just was gorgeous, I was really hesitant. So then I went down I started looking at um, Poshmark. I started looking at um, the Real Real and Rebag and all the you know all the places that you look at. And of course, now we're not we're not talking about that the other R place anymore. Fashion Pal does not carry um, that particular brand, and you know whatever. So it was pretty much Poshmark or um, the Real Real. And the real real ones, it's like they come in and they fly and they're out of stock within, you know, days. And this particular one, I put it on my watch list and it was there for a while. It got marked down a little bit and something at the back of my mind was saying something, it, it's watch out. It was, it was probably not going to be a, a wise purchase. Something might be wrong with it because it just seemed like it was too good to be true. Um, but I had my friend, you know, look at it. She felt it was a good um, deal. She actually knew Craig Birkenboy and talked to him about it. And he's a Ralph Lauren like guru. Um, he looked at it and seemed like it was, you know, he he thought it was, you know, it looked fine. Um, so I took the plunge and and purchased the bag, and it got here. <laughs> how do I want to say this? <laughs> I, the real real and I have a love hate relationship. The reason why I went to the other R company for the longest time was because they had taken so much care and um, just caution with these really high end purchases that we pay for that, you know, the packaging was fabulous that went downhill quickly, but the real real was n never like what that other company was <laughs> and when i got this one and i may i may have some footage i'll be able to insert it over what i'm talking about here uh, when i <laughs> when i got this i was so upset because i opened the box and it's just like shoved in there it was smushed it was like in too small of a dust bag it everything about it just looked like it'd been through hell the of course the pictures in the real real are horrible it looked like it had more corner wear a lot of there's just like some issues with the bag that um got me really upset of course it's final sale you can't return it you can't do anything about it once you buy it um but you know what are you gonna do so i went with the regular Ricky. This is not the soft Ricky. This is the full Ricky, which means it has all of the hardware that, um, most the soft Ricky is all like leather here, here. I think of where else it's leather. I think that's it. So mo everywhere, but pretty much this buckle and this little lock section right here is um, leather on a soft Ricky, but everything else, and of course we've got ones back here, that there's just a ton of hardware on this one. I don't find it um, that heavy, but then again, I'm used to heavy bags, so take that with a grain of salt. So if I had a soft Ricky to compare it to, I would probably give you a more accurate um, comparison. But unfortunately, I mean, I got this for $400. So four, I think it was 420 um, in the end. And it didn't have its clochette, didn't have a dust bag. I didn't, it came basically used up. This is a used up bag. And I was okay with that because I just wanted to try it out and see how it would work out for me. And it, it, the hardware isn't too scratched, but it is um, not, it has seen better days. Let's just say it that way. Where I was the most annoyed or um, upset with was um, the corners and it just was like excessively worn. So I'll show some close-ups of that. And then the handles, they're still kind of warped a little bit. You can kind of see how they divvy out like that. That's because in the box, they were like, the box literally was smushing them down like that. So I've been hanging it up like this 
since I got it. It was also completely smushed flat, so I've stuffed it full of air paper here. So I'm trying to reshape it to the best of my ability, but that definitely, yeah, the shipping and care that they did was non-existent. So that was really disappointing, really sad, and I haven't carried it yet because of that. So I'm waiting for it to, um, you know, come back up to its former glory and be able to wear it. It is incredibly nice leather. It's very soft. Um, I feel that the quality is there. So I'm really happy about that. I think for the price, I think I got a decent deal. Um, I don't think I'll ever carry it like this. This is really fussy. This took me like five minutes to do, to do, to do it up and go through all the grommets and everything. Um, it, that seems like a pain in the ass. So, um, I will likely, unless I don't plan on having to get into this bag. So like, let's say if I took it with me on another trip and I was going to be on a plane, I would probably do it up to shove it under the seat and let it sit there and do its thing. But for the most part, I probably will be carrying it open. Um, the feet are pretty much just leather straps down there. So that's another thing that's not... Um, exactly what I would think is the best idea for a bag of this such sort, but, um, you know, it is what it is. But once you're in, let me go ahead and undo it real quick. So it's, and I'll do it on screen so you can see that it's not too fussy. So I'm able to do it. And there we go with the dogs. You push down this button here to open it. And if I had the close shut, you could actually lock it, but I don't, so I don't, obviously I'm never going to lock it because I wouldn't be able to get back in it. Um, right now the straps are going through these rivets right here and right here. So again, fussy, but once you're in, it's quite spacious. And I'm gonna leave the air paper in, but my intention is to fold in the um, top there and just carry it open and possibly with the ends out like that. So, you know, that's kind of two different ways to wear if you want a little tucked and a little bit more refined or a little bit more flailed open. So very similar to, um, you know, Birkin type of style, but definitely a different bag. And it's, you know, of course, old is starting to wear off its gold lettering there. So it's definitely seen better days, but I'm excited to have it in my collection. I'm excited to try it out. I'm, I think it's, these are the kind of things I like to buy kind of at a really low price point, even po possibly not as um, in good condition, just so I understand that this is what will work for me or won't work for me. And I don't feel as bad, I mean, $400 is not, I'm just, it's not like it's chump change that I'm just like burning, but I'm okay with spending this price point to understand if it's worth buying at full price or paying maybe the excellent condition ones, which in the pre-led market are about the thousand, twelve hundred dollar range for ones that still have maybe tags attached or um, all the accessories, what have you. So you can still find some. Um, at that dollar amount. So I think, I think it's a good choice. I will know more once I use it and I can offer some more feedback, but right now I can't say that I, it, it makes a difference to me that it's a um, regular Ricky as opposed to the soft Ricky. So um, that is what I got myself for my birthday and we'll see how she works out. So if you have any questions or want to know, you know, where to find one, let me know. And I will link Caleb's video down below. He's done two, one his unboxing and one is his um, review on the Ricky. Of course, it's a soft Ricky, so his has a strap and um, close set. He has a full set, so very beautiful condition. His was very, very nice. Mine is a very different iteration of it, so two different types of bags, so to speak, but still the same silhouette. So 
I'll link that down below. If I find any other ones that are similar in style, I will link those as well. So if you have any questions, comments, just want to chat about the weather, do it down below. I like having you here. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.